rounds of the season focus on a certain worldly aspect of Christmas. God gave his greatest gift. Jonathan Cain saw the need for a different approach and in our one-on-one -on -one interview opens up about the inspiration behind his newest album, Unsung Noel. Why the title? Um, I wanted to explore Christmas um, and sing about what hasn't been sung about. Uh, I wanted to look at the unspoken things about the, the nativity and the birth of Christ. The record includes several classics as well as originals. I want to take people on a journey and, and rhythmically and, and, and melodically. And that's definitely something Kane knows about. A member of the band Journey, he wrote hits like Don't Stop Believing, then Faithfully. Kane still tours some with the band and wrote Unsung Noel while on the road this summer. So I knew I had to get so many songs done and and the Lord kept giving me more and more ideas, you know, so while I was out there, I was just constantly writing. It was just a flow that, you know, I looked up and it was 10 songs I had. And I certainly wasn't thinking I was going to get 10, but there it was, you know, and, and so I'm backstage with my piano writing songs, Christmas songs in the middle of the summer. <laughs> he calls it a God's wind in your sails kind of experience. Growing up Catholic, Cain first encountered Jesus as a young man through a Baptist pastor. But he says it wasn't until he met his wife, Pastor Paula White, that he started to fully live it out. It's hard for me not to talk about this sexy, handsome, good-looking, awesome. She's just fearless, and I love that about her, and, and she's taught me, you know, to, to be the same way, you know, and I thought, you know, she's a great example. And it sort of rubs off on you, you know, when it's your wife and you're like, uh, we love the kingdom and we want to make this world a better place and what a better way to do it, you know, with the word of God. Put your hands together for me. The two travel Mr. the world Jonathan together and consider themselves inseparable. Nation under God. White has gained additional notoriety recently due to her role as one of President Trump's top faith advisors. But it's not limelight that they seek. Kane says it's about spreading the gospel. How do your fans respond to faith? I think they very positively. Uh, recently I have a lot of Journey fans come forth and you know uh, say they enjoy the transparency. Um, uh, you know it feels good. I feel like I, I kind of came out as a Christian you know like out of the closet I'm like hey I love God you know and it feels good to be transparent with your faith and we need more of that. I choose my music to connect people with God. And that's kind of my mission today is, you know, um, how can I get more people to love the Lord, you know? Let earth receive its king. And he says that's his main reason for releasing Unsung Noel. I hope that it inspires people to really think about what we're really truly celebrating, you know, is the birth of a miracle. Jenna Browder, CBN News.